When you first log in, you will get this play transmission. And basically in this, the stalker has found others as twisted as himself, Mr. Allard V says. And he sent them after him. Shh. This is because they can cloak. That's right, they can go invisible, just like the stalker. They could be even be listening to this. Oh no. So Alad V in this event is calling in his favour. He's asking you to break into Corpus and Grenier installations and steal the security codes so he can basically find them and turn the tables on these betrayers. From what I've seen, these betrayers are warframes. Ooh. Stalker frames. So we'll start with the first thing people are going to want to know about this. What are the rewards? First off, it ends in eight days. Not a problem. The rewards. For the first four missions of this, you will get the Shadow Debt Sigil and an Oricon Catalyst. It doesn't say Blueprint though, which is nice. For defeating ten Acolytes. It actually says ten Acolytes in mission. So I'm not sure if that's 10 Acolytes in one mission. If it is, holy crap, you will get the same sigil. So I'm assuming it'll be a different sigil. But you'll also get an Oroken Reactor. There are 16 new events for this, which have a lot of weird names. But honestly, yeah, um, I have no idea what any of them do. I'm really liking the look of Argon Scope, but I don't know why. Then there is the successful completion of the mission against the final challenger will get you the Volcar Wraith. The weapon. There had to be a weapon somewhere in this event. It just had to happen. But it, it sounds like it's going to be a rather big pain, especially if it takes 8 days and 19 hours. It was actually more like 8 days and 20 hours. But go figure. And if you clear 15 waves total in the bonus final challenger mission, yeah, you will get the the Acolyte Lasara skin. Um Lasara, isn't that a what is the Lasara? <gasps> oh no! I forgot what the Lasara is. That's not a ship. Lasette, Mantis, and the one that begins with an S. I can never remember the name of. What is the Lasara? Is Hmm. Oh no, please tell me none of these are Arkwing. That would suck! The Lasara is actually the melee weapon, the weapon sword. Ooh, now I'm intrigued because these weapons are actually really useful. But if they come out like the Stalker, they're gonna be so hard to kill! Apart from that one I did when I was streaming last week, where I literally just. I thought they'd killed him. He popped up and I just off the shot into him and ended the stalker with one shot. I was really amazed at that because the stalker has given me a lot of issues. But he didn't drop anything again. The event's going to sit in the top here. You just click this and obviously at first you have to find the four cloaking data. So I will try and knock this out pretty quick. Oh no, spy missions. Oh god, not spy missions. These acolytes have been through here. Okay, so... I'm just going to stealth kill. Of course, I stealth killed him and got shot in the ass. Whoa, I'm going the wrong way. Reload, damn you. That was an acolyte. That's still an acolyte. Okay, you cloaky little morpho. No. What was that? That was freaky. There's another one. No, wait, wait, wait. They're sentinels. They're sentinels. Yeah, that's a new enemy. Yay, new enemies, finally. Luckily on the second one, we only needed to get two. And yeah, using frost really is not a good idea for these things. <laughs> I just made that with like seconds to go. Third mission on Earth. Still playing with this one person here that I was still playing with since the first mission because I haven't really closed the lobbies. I've just... Hang on. This is not a spy mission. This is a... What is this? And also, I just picked up a new road. And it is extremely foggy. And this way. I want to... Ah! Keep me power. Run into everything because, you know, that's what you do when it's foggy. Run into everything 
because why not? Yeah, this is a mobile defense. And so I want to keep the power. And the fourth one is a data terminal, but this one seems to have the radiation thing on here, hence the reason that the screen is green. After the first part, there's the Oricon Catalyst, and that's the first sigil, and the message that comes with it. Apparently there's a lot of these messages you'll get off from during this event, so the second part is now unlocked. Um, as I said at the beginning, Oricon Catalyst and another... This actually says badge, it says sigil in the release notes. So you get a badge for this part, you got a sigil for the first one, and this is for actually destroying the acolytes. And now we get to see what the acolytes look like. You go in, and I'll click on this again. The second part is here. Apparently, you can go back and redo some of the first parts. No, I would say your friends who need them done can invite you to them. And the drop chance of new roads is increased, it looks like, but that's because they're showing off a new enemy type. For the second part, you have the community part to this. And these are the ones you have to kill. These are the ones that it looks like they're going to be... I don't want to say mission specific, but it looks like these are the ones that you'll have to take down and you've got to do it over and over again. This is the community based side of this. Because they did say it was going to be community based. Well, this is why it'll go on for eight days. I'm assuming, I don't know, as you can say, it's the first time I'm actually going in. I'm hoping it is, because if it is, this has been on for about an hour now, because I had to pull out when I first came out. So now we've got to hunt them down. There's just a red dot on the map. It's an exterminate mission as well. And somehow, they I'm host, how did you... Oh, they went a different way to me. I went the wrong way, because I'm clever like that. So it's an exterminate mission, and eventually you're going to come across that one enemy that is located on the map. Or you're going to get flashy flashy. Uh, they're all dead. I'm shooting dead people. But, who's it going to come after? Better question, where is it? There it is. Freeze! Scan. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. Okay, I'm going to do that again because it works. Wow, that is not much damage at all. But they're down. Wow. I have no idea who that was or what in fact they dropped. Um, body count. That's one of the new mods. What does body count do? It increases the combo by plus two seconds. For Ooh, that is going to be useful. So some of these mods are going to be really, really, really useful. After that, another message. You're making progress, but... Nah, uh, damn it. So there's the reactor, and there's the badge. The badge looks just like the sigil. So I was kind of hoping for something like... A while ago they did a special one that was all funky and that just looks like another event badge. Once you've done that part though, you'll notice that that part disappears. But if you go to this, they're still there. Now comes the fun part of this. There are five of them in total. And it, it does happen to say spoilers. Once you've done that, a final challenger will appear, which will be active for three days. The event duration... Eh, Oh. So we've got to kill five, then another one will appear for three days. The thing I can't figure out, because it doesn't really state it, if this takes eight days to get rid of these five, because there's only three of them there right now, and it's been two hours and it's only at 0.3% completed, because obviously there's still 99.7 on all of them to go. I like the fact they move missions though, that is actually kind of fun. Plus, for collecting these uh, 16 new mods, the only place the drop is from these guys, so they have to be taken out to get the fifth one, this special one, the final challenger to appear, and its successful completion of the mission against the final challenger, where the reward is the Volcar Wraith. So I'm assuming when that pops up, you will have to farm him or her 
to get that one completed. Then, when that's completed, get the Volcar Wraith. I have yet to figure out what this 15 waves of defense is because none of these are defense missions. And I have double checked and triple checked this and it says clear 15 total waves of the bonus final challenge. Oh, the final challenger mission is where the waves are. Ah, okay, now it makes sense. The, the final challenger is where this is going to be. But there are five of these guys we have to get rid of as a community before that happens. So we have to do these missions and dispatch these guys. Until then, it's literally, that's all that's done. Once you've got the 10 and you've got the reward from that, it just goes back to the operation thing with the timer on it. Yeah, I can't believe it took me two hours to do that. <laughs> of course, in between that, I have had other things I've had to do, unfortunately. I would love to have had this up already. But anyway, that's pretty much the event. I'm really looking forward to see what this final Challenger mission is, considering it's a defense thing. And I'm hoping we have enough time in this to actually get there, because basically we've got five days to dispatch all five of them before this timer runs out. Because if the last one's up for three days, if it's not included in the eight days, that's fine. But if it is included in the eight days and we don't do it quick enough, we're going to be screwed. 